Is there anything you didn't anticipate when opening F45 Bryanston? Does COVID count? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one, yes. Definitely that one. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I have to say, like, the, there's quite an administrative toll um, on the process, particularly from a Leeds perspective. I remember we were in induction in Sydney, um, Jessica Sullivan, she's awesome. She's in Mullumaloo, um, the owner there. And like her energy is just like bouncing off the it's walls. It's insane. Oh, I love yeah. her so much. I love her. So um, she was mentioning, you know, whenever like they got a lead, we called them straight away at like 11 p.m. or, you know, 5 a.m., whatever the time was. And I was thinking, oh, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Anyway, like, you know, cut to reality <laughs> on my side. And I thought to myself, geez, like how do you – get to the leads within let's even say within three hours um if you're getting a whole bunch of leads so i actually used um a lot of the time during COVID. i met a really cool um young girl here and you know sort of started to work on how we could optimize and systemize that whole process um sort of automated a little bit better um and and that's been a game changer for us we've sort of saved about 70 or 80 percent of our time um yeah. On that process just because otherwise you sort of like running down like an excel spreadsheet you get to the bottom and you've got to go back up to the top again because this person hasn't answered or mm -hmm. they haven't booked again or whatever that process might be um so yeah so i think i didn't anticipate how hectic that um that toll would be on us <laughs> yeah she makes it so look so easy. she makes it sound so easy yeah